Here we have another problem where we are calculating the pH of a dilute acid solution. Now one thing you want to note is that the title of this topic is not weak acid solution but dilute acid solution. And in this particular example that matters because the solution that we have is an aqueous solution of perchloric acid. Now you may recognize perchloric acid as one of the seven strong acids. Here are your seven strong acids hydrochloric acid, hydroiodic acid, hydrobromic acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, perchloric acid, and chloric acid. Depending on the resource that you are using, chloric acid may or may not be listed as a strong acid. So what makes strong acids different than weak acids? Well, the difference is that strong acids are completely ionized which means that no strong acid will be left in solution. So let's write out this uh, acid dissociation reaction equation. So we have our strong acid, perchloric acid, reacting with water, and perchlor perchloric acid is going to ionize. So it's going to produce hydronium and it's going to produce the conjugate base of perchloric acid, which is the ion perchlorate. Now notice very carefully what I did here. I wrote a unidirectional arrow, which means that this reaction essentially is only going in the forward direction. There is no equilibrium established here. Well, this matters when we create our ice table, initial, change in concentration, and equilibrium concentration. So what is the initial concentration of perchloric acid? It's given it is 8.6 times 10 to the minus 5. As always, we're going to ignore concentrations of water here. Uh, and the initial concentration of hydronium is 0 and perchlorate is also zero. Now, the change in concentration. Remember, a positive change represents an increase in concentration and a negative change indicates a decrease in concentration. Well, look at this reaction. What's gonna happen to the concentration of perchloric acid as this reaction moves forward? It's going to decrease in concentration, so I'll use a negative sign there. But the important question is, how much is the concentration going to decrease? Well, up until now, we've used X to represent the change in concentration because the reactions of the ionization of weak acids is in at equilibrium. It goes both ways. But here, for a strong acid, all of the strong acid is going to ionize. So that means that the change in concentration, well, the concentration is going to decrease and how much is going to decrease by the initial concentration, 8.6 times 10 to the minus 5. Why? Again, all of this is going to ionize in this reaction to produce our products. So that means that the concentration of this is also going to increase by the initial concentration. So plus 8.6 times 10 to the minus 5. And this will be plus 8.6 times 10 to the minus 5. As long as these stoichiometric coefficients are the same as the stoichiometric coefficient of our strong acid, then the value there is going to be the same since the reaction equation is balanced. So once this reaction has gone to the end, I'm going to have my final concentrations. Now, I wrote equilibrium here, but I hope you all realize now that it's not really an equilibrium. This is going to be final. Again, because this is a strong acid, this reaction is unidirectional and not at an equilibrium. So what is the final concentration of perchloric acid? Well. This plus this, we add straight down, this would be zero. So the final concentration would be zero molar. What about here? Add straight down, 
the final concentration would be 8.6 times 10 to the minus 5. Here I do the same thing. The final concentration would be 8.6 times 10 to the minus 5. Again, final concentration and not equilibrium because this reaction is moving in one direction. So this technically is not an ice table, I-C-E, but an I-C-F table. And only in this case because the acid that we have in this solution is a strong acid. It's one of the seven strong acids. So to finish this up, we have to look and see what they asked us for. They asked us to calculate the pH of the solution. And again, we know that pH is equal to the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration. Again, H plus is the same as H3O. I just chose to write it as H plus here. So what is the pH of the solution? It's equal to the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration after the reaction has completed, reached completion, which is 8.6 times 10 to the minus 5. That gives me a pH of 4.0655 and round it to two decimal places, that would be 4.07. So this would be my final answer.